We're going to simulate hurricane conditions with this fire hose on a roof system built to current code. As wind and rain rush over a roof, a suction force develops. This suction or uplift can tear the shingles and tile off and continue to tear off the tar paper. Uplift force winds are strong enough to keep a jet in the sky, but when these same forces are applied to your roof during a hurricane, the result can be devastating. These forces can even rip plywood right off the roof trusses. Flying debris is another factor that causes major damage to your roof. As you can see, strong winds and rain are going to damage shingles, tile, and the tar paper below, and then allow rain to enter your home. When a roof is built, carpenters leave a space about the thickness of a cardboard box all along the edges of the plywood sheets. These small gaps don't look like much, but they're everywhere. If you add these up, it can be like a whole sheet of plywood is missing. What we're going to do now is apply foam seal to every gap in the roof system. This will keep the water out. Our crew is also going to glue the plywood to the trusses to increase the strength of the roof, and we'll talk about that later. Foam seal is university tested and patented. This is a two-part adhesive that mixes together and reacts like an epoxy to make an extremely strong glue and secondary water barrier. Foam seal is applied from inside your attic to the underside of your roof plywood. It's never directly exposed to hurricane winds. It takes one day to apply without disturbing the home below. You know, I've been in a lot of attics, and I'm still shocked at the number of nails that went through the plywood but missed the truss below. With foam seal, you can always see that you're protected. This is the roof we just applied foam seal to. Now we'll do the same fire hose demonstration we did on the shingle roof, except we turned it up a notch. Not only is more pressure being applied, the pressure is concentrated directly to the joints and the top of the roof, where water would normally be able to pour into your home. This shows how well foam seal keeps water out. We're so confident in foam seal that we left the shingles and tar paper off so that foam seal can take the full pressure without letting water through. As you can see from the camera we put under the roof, if this was your home, you would be protected from water intrusion.